So as you can see on the first option it says some random name with different numbers. This you can always change, okay? Click on the little pin icon there and see you can always change to whatever your preferred name and then click OK. In this case I'm just going to leave it like this so I don't change the name and then click on done. After that see you're gonna see the video here appear. See it already notified me <laughs> some uh, motion detection. Click OK. Alright. So let me see the camera now. Okay, so sorry. I'm turning off the speaker so that it doesn't make some you know, echo sound. Okay, now we are going to you know see what's in here on the screen. Um, as you can see, you can see the bit rate, the Wi-Fi um, signal strength, and um, live motion detection. Of course, it is on. You want to turn it off? Click on it again. On, off, on, off. Okay. History. You can always see the history of your camera if you have the cloud service activated. Okay, which is here. And uh, of course, now it is a very special function of this module. Um, the PTZ which is pan tilt zoom so you click on it and then if you want to um, pan to different direction you can just click on this see to the left to the right up and down it's very practical for you to for example set the camera at home and then you want to see from different angles so you can always use this um, feature and um, down below you can see uh, uh, the also different function that you can um, try to play with <laughs> the first one is the function where you can take a photo okay and the second one is where you can record a video when you click on it immediately start recording the video all right and you want to stop recording you just click on it again and the audio press and hold and speak <laughs> see and if you don't want to um, speak anymore or you want to stop then you just release the the pressing all right and the speaker, the speaker, the speaker. when you speak when from you speak from device, device you can hear it to your phone okay now I'm turning it off again <laughs> and um, yeah now let's go to the um, uh, top right where you can see three dots there um, yeah so click on it you're gonna see also different functions of this camera first of all receive alert notification you can always turn it on or off okay if it's on then you're gonna get the message whenever it detects some motion and if it's off then it doesn't show you the notifications but it goes to the message which is here now I'm clicking on the top left with this back and then back again and then click on this and then message and you can see alarm messages click on it you can see the history you see <laughs> all right so we go back to devices and then top right and you can see device share you can always share your um, you know video live stream or the camera with anybody in your family or your friends you know to you know for your special moments or whatever you want to and how to do that you just follow the video there okay yeah it's gonna show you everything that you need to do I'm just going back and then device information yeah Net network name virtual ID which is specified for a specific device of course and um, yeah basic function of course you can turn on or off the status light which is on your camera and rotate wheel night vision you can always turn it on or off or automatic if you set to automatic whenever it detects some low light level then it's going to turn on for you night vision sleep mode it is very cool i really love this function guys you can turn off the lane immediately you can always set it 
you know, the time when you want to um, turn it off. Which day, for example. See? And start from what time until what time. And uh, yeah, geofence. What is geofence? Geofence is the function where it is going to um, disable your camera lens from working if you use the same Wi-Fi network as your camera. I mean, your phone and your camera use the same network then the lens will be off okay so it's really cool and uh, yeah later on we have um, alarm detection you know detection alarm sorry so um, yeah motion detection now is off if you want to turn it on you can always click on here and set the label that you prefer low medium high you know All right, and uh, alert will be triggered only when human motion detected. So it's just smart that it, whenever it detects some human motion, then um, it's going to send you notification or the alert. Of course, if you turn it on, now it's off, I'm turning it off. And noise detection, whenever um, it detects some noise, it's going to also notify you. <laughs> you can set the label as well. So, I'm going to turn it off. Crying detection is really good for the parents when they have a little baby. So whenever the baby cries in the room, then they can always have the notification on your phone and you know check out what's going on. And uh, and then you have SD card. If you have it, then you can also record full day or do the event recording. You know you can always shoot from here. And then cloud storage service, you can also always um, subscribe to the cloud service of the company. You can also try for three months and then uh, see if you like it, then you continue or you know enter some activation code. And then you have Amazon Echo or Google Home it is comfortable, compatible with the device, so you can follow the guidelines here and set up the devices together. Okay, so advanced feature on the fifth setting, nice, right? And last but not least, we can delete the device as well. So, oh, now the camera is off. I really, um, yeah, think that uh, it's a very good camera. If you, you know, want to always check out what's going on in your home, your office, or your store, for example, this is a very practical one. You can pan to different direction. You can zoom. It is amazing and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed my video and if you have any question please let me know or send in the you know some message to ask some question and we'll be happy to you know help you with that or answer you any doubts okay so thank you so much again and I hope you have a nice day okay bye